Have you heard the buzz about the ketogenic diet? It's everywhere you turn, magazines, social media, even your gym buddy swears by it. This low-carb, high-fat eating plan promises rapid weight loss and increased energy. But what if I told you this popular diet might actually increase your risk of developing diabetes? It might sound counterintuitive, but the relationship between the keto diet and blood sugar control is complex and not without potential pitfalls. We're going to delve into the science behind the keto diet, exploring its effects on insulin sensitivity and its implications for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. We'll separate fact from fiction, debunking common myths surrounding the keto diet and its supposed ability to cure diabetes. Most importantly, this essay aims to empower you with knowledge. Understanding how the keto diet can impact your metabolic health allows you to make informed decisions about your diet and overall well-being. Your health is your most valuable asset, and making educated choices is the first step towards safeguarding it. The ketogenic diet has taken the world by storm, captivating individuals with its promise of rapid weight loss and a metabolic reset. This diet, often referred to simply as keto, has become a buzzword in health and fitness circles, with countless success stories and testimonials flooding social media and health forums. But what exactly is the keto diet and how does it work? To understand its appeal, we need to delve into the science behind it and the principles that guide its practice. In essence, the keto diet drastically reduces carbohydrate intake while increasing fat consumption. This means that foods rich in carbohydrates, such as bread, pasta, and sugary treats, are largely off-limits. Instead, the diet emphasizes high-fat foods like avocados, cheese, nuts, and oils. This dietary shift forces the body into a metabolic state called ketosis, where it begins to burn fat for fuel instead of its preferred energy source, glucose. Ketosis is a natural process that the body initiates to help us survive when food intake is low. During this state, we produce ketones, which are used as an alternative energy source. While this metabolic switch can lead to weight loss, it also has profound effects on various bodily functions, particularly insulin sensitivity. Improved insulin sensitivity can be beneficial for those with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, as it helps the body manage blood sugar levels more effectively. The allure of the keto diet lies in its marketed simplicity, cut carbs, eat fat, lose weight. This straightforward approach has made it accessible to many, and the visible results can be incredibly motivating. However, this simplified message often overshadows the potential long-term consequences, especially for individuals at risk of or already living with diabetes. The diet's restrictive nature can lead to nutrient deficiencies if not carefully managed and the high intake of saturated fats may pose cardiovascular risks. While some proponents tout the keto diet as a revolutionary approach to managing blood sugar, the reality is far more nuanced. There is ongoing debate among experts about the long-term sustainability and safety of the diet, particularly for those with chronic health conditions. It's crucial to remember that our bodies are complex systems and drastic dietary changes can have unforeseen and potentially detrimental effects on our metabolic health. Consulting with healthcare professionals and considering individual health needs and conditions is essential before embarking on such a significant dietary shift. The keto diet may offer benefits for some, but it is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Let's break down a crucial concept, insulin sensitivity. Insulin sensitivity refers to how effectively our cells respond to the hormone insulin. When our cells are highly sensitive to insulin, they can efficiently take up glucose from the bloodstream, which is essential for maintaining balanced blood sugar levels and overall metabolic health. Insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, acts as a key, unlocking the doors of our cells to allow glucose from the bloodstream to enter and be used for energy. This process is vital for providing our bodies with the energy needed to perform daily activities and maintain bodily functions. Insulin resistance occurs when our cells become less responsive to insulin signals, leading to a buildup of glucose in the blood. This condition forces the pancreas to produce more insulin in an attempt to manage blood sugar levels, which can eventually lead to pancreatic fatigue and decreased insulin production. This resistance is a significant risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the way the body processes blood sugar, leading to serious health complications if not managed properly. So, where does the keto diet fit into this picture? The ketogenic diet, commonly known as the keto diet, is a low-carb, high-fat diet that has gained popularity for its potential to promote weight loss and improve certain health markers. By drastically reducing carbohydrate intake, 
the keto diet aims to lower blood sugar levels and, in turn, reduce the demand for insulin. This reduction in carbohydrate consumption forces the body to enter a state of ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel instead of glucose. While this approach might seem beneficial, emerging research suggests that long-term adherence to a ketogenic diet could potentially worsen insulin sensitivity in some individuals. This is because the body may adapt to the low-carb environment in ways that are not yet fully understood. Remember, our bodies thrive on balance. A balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrients is essential for maintaining optimal health. Incorporating a mix of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats can help ensure that our bodies receive the necessary fuel to function properly. When we consistently deprive ourselves of glucose, their primary energy source, they may become less responsive to insulin over time, even when small amounts of carbohydrates are reintroduced. This phenomenon can lead to a paradoxical increase in insulin resistance, making it harder to manage blood sugar levels in the long run. This potential for increased insulin resistance raises concerns about the long-term sustainability and safety of the keto diet, particularly for those predisposed to metabolic disorders. It's crucial to approach any dietary change with caution and to consult with healthcare professionals to ensure that it aligns with individual health needs and goals. Balancing dietary choices with regular physical activity and monitoring health markers can help mitigate potential risks and promote overall well-being. For individuals with type 1 diabetes, the ketogenic diet presents a unique set of challenges and risks. This diet, which is high in fats and very low in carbohydrates, aims to shift the body's metabolism from relying on glucose to using ketones, a byproduct of fat breakdown, as the primary energy source. While this metabolic shift can offer benefits for some, it requires careful consideration and management for those with type 1 diabetes. Unlike type 2 diabetes, which is characterized by insulin resistance, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. This fundamental difference means that the management strategies for type 1 diabetes are distinct and often more complex. The destruction of these cells leads to an absolute deficiency of insulin, making external insulin injections essential for survival. This destruction leads to an absolute deficiency of insulin, making external insulin injections essential for survival. Insulin is a hormone that allows cells to take in glucose from the bloodstream to use for energy. Without it, blood sugar levels can rise to dangerous levels, leading to a host of complications. Therefore, individuals with type 1 diabetes must carefully monitor their blood sugar levels and administer insulin to maintain a delicate balance. While some proponents suggest that the keto diet's emphasis on low-carbohydrate intake can simplify blood sugar management for those with type 1 diabetes, this approach is not without significant risks. The idea is that by reducing carbohydrate intake, blood sugar levels will be more stable and less insulin will be required. However, the reality is more complicated. The body's response to a ketogenic diet can vary widely among individuals, and what works for one person may not be suitable for another. One of the most concerning risks is ketoacidosis, a potentially life-threatening condition that occurs when the body starts breaking down fat at an accelerated rate producing ketones, acidic byproducts of fat metabolism. In individuals with type 1 diabetes who already have difficulty regulating blood sugar due to insulin deficiency, the keto diet can further disrupt this delicate balance, increasing the likelihood of ketoacidosis. This condition requires immediate medical attention and can be fatal if not treated promptly. In individuals with type 1 diabetes, who already have difficulty regulating blood sugar due to insulin deficiency, the keto diet can further disrupt this delicate balance, increasing the likelihood of ketoacidosis. Symptoms of ketoacidosis include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, confusion, and a fruity-scented breath. It's a serious condition that underscores the importance of careful dietary planning and medical supervision. It's crucial to remember that managing type 1 diabetes requires careful monitoring of blood sugar levels and insulin dosages, and the introduction of a restrictive diet like keto should only be considered under the strict guidance of a healthcare professional experienced in both type 1 diabetes and ketogenic diets. Regular consultations with a healthcare provider can help tailor the diet to individual needs, ensuring that nutritional requirements are met without compromising health. Additionally, continuous glucose monitoring and frequent blood tests are essential to track the body's response to the diet and adjust insulin dosages accordingly. This comprehensive approach can help mitigate risks 
and support better health outcomes for those navigating the complexities of type 1 diabetes and the ketogenic diet.